In the diagram, TR is a diameter. PRKT is a cyclic quad. They talk about the chords, and then they tell us that PK, which is this entire length, is the same as TK. They have the same length, and you can see that we've got equal things over there. The first question says, prove for four marks that SR is a diameter of a circle passing through S and P. SR is a diameter, oh here, yeah, of a circle that is passing through S and P. Okay, so something like that. Okay, if SR is the diameter, then, uh, then we know that this angle would have to be 90 degrees because of angles in a semicircle. So if we can prove, we can't say it's 90 degrees, but if we could prove that it is 90, then we can say, therefore, this must be a diameter because of converse of angles in a semicircle. Because remember, when you have a circle, if you have a diameter, then it always makes a 90. But if they're asking you to prove that this is a diameter, then you can do that by trying to show in other ways that this is 90. So let's see if we can do that. So what we already know is that this is a diameter in this circle, okay? And so if we make a, if we make the angle over here, then we know that this whole angle P1 and P2 they must be 90 degrees, okay? So I'm gonna call that angle TPR, angle TPR. Have a look here, TPR. That must be 90 degrees because of angles in semicircle. So this is 90. Now, this is a straight line. So it means that this angle P3 must be 90 because of angles on a straight line. So we can say P3 must be 90 because of some angles straight line. And so therefore, SR is the diameter because we said that this is 90, then this would have to be a diameter. But we'll say converse angles in a semicircle. So the next question is to prove that angle S, so let's take that all away, hope we don't need it later, angle S, uh, where are you angle S, here you are, um, that that must be the same as P2, okay? We gotta try to prove for five marks that those two are the same. So what we could do is, if we look over here, we remember that this angle here was 90 degrees, right? So if this is P2, then what would this one be? Well, P1 would be 90, um, sorry, P1 would be 90 minus P2 because we already said that this was 90 from earlier reasons, so we don't need to say it again. So if this whole thing's 90, then this angle would be 90 minus P2. But now, if you look in this triangle, this is an isosceles triangle. So the sides opposite those, or the angles opposite those sides would have to be equal. So that would be this entire angle and this angle. So P1 would have to be the same as angle um, T, but this whole angle T, so I'm gonna call it PTK. So angle PTK is the same as angle P1 because of angles opposite equal sides. So then we can say therefore angle PTK is 90 minus P2, or like what we said over here. So now we have this as 90 minus angle P2. Here is P2. Now if you look in this, um, if you look at this angle or this triangle over here, we know that this is a diameter, which means that the angle that it makes over here, this whole angle K must be 90 because of angles in a semicircle. So angle T, K, R is 90 degrees because of angles in semicircle. So now we have that. Now I want you to look in this entire triangle and see if you could work out angle S. Well, angle S would just be 180 minus all of those because of the sum of angles in a triangle. So 180 minus um, 90, which is this one, minus 
this angle, which must go in a bracket because it's more than one term, and that's just because of sum of angles in triangle, or sum of int angles, interior angles in a triangle. And so if you had to work out angle S, you would end up getting 90 minus 90 plus angle P2, and so the 90s would cancel, and so look at that, angle S is the same as P2. Okay, so now we can just go fill all of that in. So we now know that this one is the same as this one, and we've got all of that. Okay, so this question now says, um, prove that the triangle SPK, 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 is similar to PRK, PRK. All right, so that's similarity. So straight away, you should see that they both share angle K2. So we could say that angle K2 is the same as K2 because of common. Then we can immediately see that this angle in the green one is the same as this angle in the yellow one. So we could say that angle P2 is the same as angle S, and that's just because of proven already. So then the last angle should be the same in each triangle because of angles in a triangle. So in the green triangle, we have not used that, so we could call that KRP, would have to then be equal to, in the yellow triangle, we haven't used this one, which is SPK, and that'll just be because of sum of int angles in triangle. And so therefore, the triangle SPK must be similar to the triangle PRK because of angle, angle, angle. And then for five marks, last question, if it is further given that SR and RK are the same, so SR and RK, let's quickly take all of this away, SR, where are you, SR, oh here, and RK, okay, so they are now the same length, prove that ST is equal to that. So the first thing I like to do is I always take my similarity answer and I make those ratios, SP over PR equals to PQ, PK sorry, over RK, and that's then equal to SK over uh, PK. And that's because of corresponding, or no, we can actually just say because those triangles were similar. So similar triangles, okay. Now, they tell us that SR is the same as RK. Okay, but we already wrote that down. Now, they want us to prove that ST, ST, okay, so ST is that, and then RK. Okay, so what I noticed, check this out. If we use these two and we cross multiply, so that would go there and that would go there, then we end up with the RK, but we also end up with PK squared and then SK times RK. Now, PK squared is, or PK is here, but I know that PK is also the same as TK, okay? Um, so we can just replace this with TK. Now, when I know, I notice that they want ST, which is this length, and then we also have TK squared and I know that it's a 90 degree triangle. So I'm thinking of Pythagoras with this length and this length. So I know that TK squared plus SK squared is ST squared because of Pythagoras. And so I'm gonna try to get ST because I want ST in the answer. So I'm gonna go, um, well there we have it, ST. So I'm now gonna replace this with ST squared take away SK squared. And so that's gonna be, um, so I'm gonna put this over here. And so we're gonna end up with ST squared take away SK squared equals to SK times RK. I see there's a common SK, so I'm gonna take all of the SKs to the right, okay? I'm gonna take out a common factor and then I'd be left with SK plus RK. Now, I notice here there's only RKs, but here I've got SKs. But if you look carefully, SK 
is going to be double the length of r k because this is equal to this so if this was like 5 and this was 5 then this whole length would be 10 which would be double r k right so that's what i'm trying to say is that r k or let's rather say s k is double r k so i'm going to substitute this with 2RK and I'm going to substitute this with 2RK. So we end up now with ST is equal to 2RK and then in brackets 2RK plus RK. So now we have 2RK plus 1RK which is the same as 3RK. So that's going to be ST is then equal to 2RK multiplied with 3RK and that's then going to give us 6 r k squared i then take a square root and i know that the square root of this is just r k but i don't know what the square root of six is so i end up with six square root six r k which is the same as that and there we've had it that's not the easiest one um took me a while to see that one actually but yeah that's sort of the way you could handle something like that